To do film studies you don't need to know much about it or have much knowledge because you gain that within the films that you watch and how you study them and what you learn about it overall you, you will get that. And also to, to do film you um, sort of increase your literature skills with language as well which is quite a big benefit even if you don't use the film study subject in the future. When I first started film studies I don't think I had the best liter literacy skills. I wasn't the best at English, however, upon taking film studies, it's allowed me to improve my literary skills and creative writing, and I feel that's a skill I'm going to have for the rest of my life, even if I don't pursue film as a career. Films help me out with my uh, opinions for films, such as when I go to the cinema now, I have more, I'm more observant and I've got a broader opinion, because I know how the film is made, distributed, the actors, I know, I know what's went into the film. Uh, ever since I started film studies, I've never watched the film the same way again. No. The elements you pick up on are incredible. Yeah, you just can't watch it without analysing it. It's, it's, I don't know, it's good, but it's, not, it's quite haunting really, because you, you just sit there analysing it the whole time. I can't really enjoy films anymore. Since starting film, I've watched films in a different way, and I sort of scrutinise everything about the film, and I go over everything. and in depth and I'm, when I'm watching it I sort of t pay attention to like the lighting or the sound or specifically other things maybe and um, I feel like film will help me in the future with like being more creative and it's also helped me with my literature and language skills because it's quite a, it's an essay based lesson and topic so it's, I've got used to writing a lot of stuff in a short amount of time and using a wide vocabulary and stuff. Within the first year of film studies we look at British crime cinema, for that we would watch Wild Bill and London to Bryson. We got to look at British films which, which was an easy introduction to film studies, whereas in the second year doing Japanese cinema, as much as I enjoyed it, doing that first year would definitely have put me off. So in AES film studies we watched um, Wild Bill and London to Brighton which brought up um, topics like rape and child abuse. Those are good cases in watching films because you get this like sense of realism so when you watch films next time you understand the methods that the director went into. So the four films we did last year, we did two British crime dramas, we did Wild Bill and London to Brighton and then two American films, we did uh, Roman, Holiday. Roman Holiday and Lost in Translation and they're, they're really good films to compare, especially to American ones because one was done in 1953 and one was done in 2003, so they were like 50 years apart. And so you could see how the styles have changed over time, over ho like in Hollywood as well. Usually we watch the whole film, we take notes, and then we look back at the first, the first sequence, the middle sequence, and the end sequence, because uh, that's what we need to learn for the exam, so we can refer to parts of the film, and they're the most important sort of parts in the films, really. Uh, we talk about uh, pre-production, post-production, uh, distribution. Um, some of this stuff comes in handy because we get to find out about the industry and the techniques that are used and how to get into it. Um, in the first year of film studies, one of the biggest topics which I enjoyed was definitely the creative project as it allowed you to choose what you wanted to do in a sense of whether you wanted to do a storyboard or a short film. and it allowed you to be creative and have your own take and do whatever you wanted really. Of course like for the first year you had to do 25 different shots. Um, like It was either a storyboard or a short film and that was your creative project. It was decent. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was alright that one. Yeah, I enjoyed that. We also have a creative side of it which is partly uh, goes towards the uh, final grade so it's coursework as well. The practical side of film studies is enjoyable uh, because we get to use the cameras, the tripods, the mics, the lighting equipment. We have a studio room which helps us uh, produce our own short films. The college allows you to borrow all that stuff for a day, the weekend, however long you need to film. Jim's the man you need to go to for all of that sort of thing. Jim will help you with everything. <laughs> He'll literally just supply you with anything you want. Anything. You book it out and that and it will give you cameras, tripods, boomboxes, anything. Photograph cameras. It's brilliant. 
We got to look at how to use cameras so we get to use them and to how we can use sound kit and lighting equipment to make our films as good as we want to make them. And then once you've filmed all that on the college college cameras, you can go into the Mac room which got which got every editing software you need to create your own short film or storyboard to hopefully get a good grade and pass film study so Jason doesn't rip your head off. Jason's really enthusiastic which helps with the environment in the class. So there's no one on the phones, there's no one that's bored because we're always doing something and when we're doing something we're always learning and it's always active and he has a great uh, teaching dynamic which helps us learn and we are educated a lot better. He's a great guy Jason, he takes a lot of stick but he's a great guy, he's a good teacher, he knows how to get his, the messages across. He'll help you out when you're in need, you yeah. can go to him with anything. You can go to him, you can, you can strike up a conversation with Jason anywhere, any time at college and he'll give you a hand with anything. To be a good teacher you need to be enthusiastic and have a love and passion for the subject that you're teaching and I feel Jason has that. Jason will speak to you about any films, like anything about film studies, even if it's not to do with the topic. You can tell that he just loves film and the subject and that he's got a really big passion and, and drive for film studies. And it's also good having a teacher where you can get along with and they can sort of help you with like deciding what you want to do like with your creative side of the films is what you want to make or whether you want to do a script or he gets the class going as well, yeah, he does. Jason. You walk in and the atmosphere he's got constantly that, He's got that banter up. as well, Jason, that it just keeps, you, everyone just rolls off each other. Yeah. Yeah. And he doesn't like you to overstep the mark, but he likes a little bit of banter. He likes everyone bouncing off of each other and a big discussion. Class atmosphere is good because we have a wide variety. So sometimes we come into class and watch a film. Sometimes we do analysing. Um, we do debriefs, um, what we're going to do in the lesson. Uh, we go into different rooms, for example, when we do our research project we go into the Mac room and the teacher does one-on-ones and we are, we've been seg segregated into different groups now to help us out with our research projects, which is good. I mean, it's, it's basically, the course is just one big class discussion really, that's how like Jason likes to teach. You'll sort of sit there and you just bounce off each other's ideas and that when you're actually analysing. Constantly taking notes. Yeah, taking notes and what everybody's saying, not just your own notes. So they're, by the end of the lesson, you have like five times the amount of notes more than you would have if you were just doing it by yourself. In the film class, we have a lot of discussions and it's like a group thing. We get to pitch in with what we want to say. Um, also, it's, it's quite a good atmosphere because you get different people's opinions on the films and how they feel. and how they can relate to the films as well. I have a broad opinion on when it comes to watching the films in film studies because sometimes we watch films and there's different opinions. Even if I don't take film further after college, I think already I've learned enough from it as I don't think after starting the subject you can ever look at a film in the same way once you know how to analyse a film into great depth. Right now we did Japanese cinema which is really interesting. I thought I wasn't going to like it but we did because the class, we didn't really have a chance to watch foreign films. So then and when we did get, um, to watch it, we did 1950s and 1960s Japanese cinema which is interesting because we got to talk about um, the war in which it went on, how it impacted into the films they made. Yeah, I enjoy film studies but it's also good getting to do films you, you want to do yourself because if you you're doing a film that you don't enjoy then it's not as fun but it's good to look at all aspects of films and different types of films for example I didn't think I'd like Japanese cinema but I do because it's, it's so different and there's so many different elements and aspects of the film which you never thought would be that, that existed. Uh, the creative side of film studies is brilliant whether you're um, out filming or you're doing creative writing for scripts it is incredible and I've developed a lot in my time here. You do a lot of writing in film studies, a lot of writing. Whether you're doing exam prep or whether you're doing scripts or whatever, it's a lot of writing. Cosmat. Um, Cosmat is a film trip we do every year in film studies. It's mainly for AS students and some A2 students can come along. It's, it's in the winter, in November time, and we go all the way to Brighton on the train and when we get there we watch one short film by a film student or an up-and-coming film director and we watch a feature film 
And after we're watching those films, we get to talk to the director or the writer or the actor. And it's really good because we get a sense of the industry, which comes in handy. It's a great, um, it's a great trip to go on. I love Cosmat, mate. Cosmat is the trip. If you, if you only go on one trip in your life, you have to go to Cosmat. I've been twice, that's how good it is. You only went once, but Cosmat is the trip of all trips, trust me. Right. You loved it, didn't you? I did, it was yeah. really educational as well. Yeah. You got um, directors there in the films we yep. watch as well. Screenplay writers and that, and you get to have Q&As with them after session. you watch the film. It's very, very beneficial. And it's, like, like, it's just like a, a theatre full of film study students as well. So you're at home with your surroundings. We can ask questions and then they can tell us on how they come up with the ideas for their films or their personal opinion on the sort of film industry at this time or how it's differentiated from back when they started maybe, which can help us in our exams because we can relate to what they've said within the questions. Uh, the coursework side of film studies is pretty class. It's not like your average homework you get for other lessons. You get home and you get to write creatively at home. Uh, script designing, film analysing yet again. Uh, get some essays, but nothing, nothing too surreal. And it's all fun to do because it will help you towards your final grade that you can use over and over again. Yeah, so when you come like, to the end of the year, all the homework that you've done over the year can help you towards your final exam with revision and that. And you've got like a basis for the essay that you go into the final exam with. Um, I recommend film studies because it's open to everyone. It's not like a course where you do politics or you do maths. Anyone can do it, but you have to have the right attitude and you have to be creative in the sense that you're able to go out filming or you have to have an open mind of the films that you want to watch because sometimes they can be very graphic or in some cases you might find them dull. But it's a great course to learn about uh, certain industries and certain genres. It's a fun course to do. So before doing film studies, I um, already enjoyed films, took an interest in them. Therefore, when I saw the subject, I knew already that I wanted to do it. I mean, any sort of student really can take film studies because we've got people in our class that only did it because they thought it would be an easy course, but they ended up loving it and that. Um, you, you do have to have sort of... Creative mindset. Yeah, you, you do have to have a passion for film as well. Like You do have to like films. But, yeah, you do have to have the creative mindset, especially with the coursework and that, to be able to get a good grade. And you have to be good at writing as well because there's a lot of writing in the exams. I um, didn't know what I wanted to do for my subjects when I came there. So I picked film as uh, something I thought might enjoy, I might enjoy rather than what I might go down in later life. But uh, like I say, I've learned a lot from it and it might actually turn the tables and I might actually go down the route with film in the future. It, it opens up a lot for you for later life. It gives you a lot of skills for where you want to go. Even if like Ryan, you don't know where you want to go. It helps you. I think that people should look into film a bit more and students come into the college they should look into the film subject even if they're not thinking about it because I think they, they don't need to love film but if they chose the subject and studied it and worked hard and learned everything they need to learn then they will definitely see film in a different way and they'd end up maybe being more interested into it than what they was. Film studies is going to help me with my critical analysis so when I go off to do film at uni which I will do um, it's going to help me with my exams, it's going to help me have a brief insight of what the course will entail, which would be really, really effective. Um, film studies will help me out with um, certain aspects, like right now we're doing script writing, which will help me if I do radio, television or film. When I originally started film studies, I didn't really know what I wanted to do after college, but uh, coming into it, you've learnt a lot, whether it's screenwriting, scripts, film designing, film analysing, film reviewing. It's incredible what you could do in later life with film studies. Yeah, because I want to go to film school after this, so this has been like the ultimate course to help me go on that way. And Jason's the one that's inspired me the most out of everybody. I'm not going to say that everyone should take film studies, because obviously film's not for everyone. However, I think if you've got a passion and enjoy watching films, I feel definitely it's a very beneficial subject but obviously if that's not your cup of tea then get coffee. Students should now feel like film isn't a, a wasteful subject I feel like they should 
maybe look into it if they're thinking about it or even if they're not just look at it and see how they feel about doing it like they might they might not be into films as much but if they did take it then they're definitely like they'd, they'd enjoy it I think and they'd watch films in a different way and